casting crowns, lifting hands, bowing hearts is all we've come to do. Casting crowns, lifting hands, bowing hearts is all we've come to do. We are all here tonight for a wonderful, remarkable lady, Mamba, 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 Mother of All Mothers. Um, in these times that we live in, you all know, if you don't know, you know, we need God. We need God in our daily life. Without God, we are nothing. So tonight, I have the pleasure of inviting my dear brother, Desmond Richardson, Mr. Desmond Richardson, to give us the opening prayer before I proceed with the program. Hi, that's one. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Uh, on behalf of my family, we just want to say thank you so much for everybody taking the time to be here, to celebrate, to love on us. Uh, so many bags that were made in the kitchen. Everybody really stepped up to, to honestly do what my mom would have done as well. So um, thank you for Anybody that bought a flower, showed us love, and just care for us in this time of need, like thank you so much. We love you guys very much. So just bow in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this night. We thank you for everybody getting here safe. Lord, I pray that the Holy Spirit will be here, dwelling amongst us, dwelling in us, and pray that the love will just go through us and that we will just feel your love. Lord, let it be so thick that we see your love. Let the conversations be seasoned with salt, with love, kindness. And Lord, pray that the, the faith that comes from your truth will be heavy in the time preceding. So Lord, we thank you, we love you, we believe in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Desmond. Uh, DJ Prince, please give us uh, an interview so people come and can come and greet before I proceed. Sam Patchwell, 
And then I also have Denise Harris. I have Tina Wally and Jimmy Hawkins. And then I have Mrs. Teresa and David Okran. Then I have Abigail Norte and Claudia Juan. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the members and family of the high table. So, uh, that's how you do it, that's how you do it. This is a state event, so. <laughs> um, DJ Prince Paul, we are going to ask you respectfully to give us a song for the family, you know, to welcome each and every one that is present here tonight. Um, let's do Coco Coco, yeah.
Cedric is going to read his mother's eulogy. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank each and every guys, uh, every one of you, for coming out and supporting my mom, Sharon Richardson. So uh, sincerely appreciate for each and every one of us at the table and, and family and friends throughout the, throughout the place. Uh, I'm going to read the eulogy written by my niece, Jade, and it's beautifully written. Uh, good evening, family and friends, and all those who <clears throat> have gathered here to celebrate the life and remarkable woman, Sharon Denise Richardson, whom we affectionately know as Mamba. My name is Cedric. I am the third eldest of Mamba's four sons. Mamba was born on May 22, 1959, in Worcester, Massachusetts, to Ruby and Chester Hawkins. Her formative years led her to the Fanning Girls Trade School, where she began to develop her skills in the healthcare field and qualities that would later define her as a compassionate and dedicated nurse. In the year 1987, Mamba embarked on a career as a nurse at St. Vincent's Hospital in the Emergency Department, a chapter that spanned an incredible 37 years. Her commitment to patient care was unparalleled, marked by a selfless devotion that went beyond the expectations of her professional duty. Several times during her time at St. Vincent, she stood alongside her fellow nurses during labor strikes, a testament to her unwavering principles and her deep-seated sense of justice. Mamma's life was a testament of her devotion to being a mother, wife, sister, and foundation of a community she would call her family. Her ability to transform ordinary moments into extraordinary memories was nothing short of incredible. From a childhood, from childhood trips to Disney on Ice to warmth of the family dinners, the excitement of her, great excitement of her and Grandpa's Fourth of July cookouts, and the magic she brought to Christmas each year, Mamma's touch made every occasion unforgettable. Mamma was blessed with five brothers and two sisters. She was the glue that kept everyone involved when busy lives took us in different directions. Alongside ensuring her immediate family felt her unconditional love, it was evident how deeply she valued her relationships with everyone, every one of her siblings. No matter the distance or time elapsed, when they got together, it felt as if no time had passed. The reality of her absence still hangs heavy in our hearts. And in these past few weeks, there have been countless instances where I find myself thinking, Mamba would know what to do. Beyond being a grandmother, she was our comforter, provider, and caretaker. In times of uncertainty, she was our guiding light. And for every accomplishment, she was our biggest cheerleader. In her 64 years of life, Mamba raised four outstanding sons and a niece that she considered her own, each remarkable in their own right. They in turn blessed her with nine amazing grandchildren. This intergenerational bond is a testament to the love, strength, and wisdom she installed in her family. As we navigate the depths of our grief, let me close with the fitting quote from Maya Angelou. A great soul serves everyone all the time. A great soul never dies. It brings us together again and again. These words beautifully sum up Mamma's essence. Her great soul served and continues to serve everyone, family, friends, patients, everyone she encountered. Though her physical presence is no longer with us, her great soul lives on, uniting us in memory and love. Mamba, we love you beyond words. The void left with your absence is profound. And to the day we are reunited, may you rest in heavenly peace. Thank you. Thank you, Sergeant. That was wonderful. Thank you very, very much. Every word that her son said here today is very, very true. And because of that, I have three wonderful ladies here tonight. I'd like to dedicate this to Sharon. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why? Feel lonely 
and long for heaven and home when Jesus says my portion a If I had wings, I would fly to my love. And the legendary DJ Prince Paul himself is in the house. He's going to give us that sound to celebrate the wonderful life of Auntie Sharon. I want each and every one to be on the floor. If you have legs or you don't have legs, Please come and celebrate the song. Let's celebrate Auntie Sharon. She's the reason why we are gathered here so beautiful tonight. DJ Prince Paul.
in honor of Auntie Sharon. Let's hear the two. This is for Mr. Sigmund Richardson and the Richardson Board.